Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021 where last time out we got more bees and that's all very exciting indeed. I do like bees and they're really important for the local environment and the pollination of pretty much everything I think and of course they make lovely honey too so we have something very nice to put on our toast in the mornings which is splendid. So yes, bees are brilliant, I do like bees, I'm a big bee fan and now we have quite a lot of them over here on the farm just buzzing around the place keeping busy and making honey and such like so that's all very lovely so welcome to the farm bees you're most welcome here indeed now of course we also away from the bees set up this new area over here with these huge fields and then this little bit over here where we're going to keep all the farm equipment we need to work all these massive fields However, we sort of jumped the gun a little bit with this, I think, because winter is coming up on us very soon indeed. How far away is winter? 15 days. So only 15 days remain until winter is going to roll around. And we've not had time to do anything with these fields. We kind of did this a little bit early. So yeah, this is not going to do anything anytime soon. These fields are just going to sit here and not do anything. I think we have said that we'd like to grow some carrots in that field. And they've done the first stage of preparing the field. I think they've ploughed the field, but that is it. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything else by the time winter actually rolls around. But that's absolutely fine. That's fine. Winter's not too far away. And then, of course, when winter is here, we can just use the magic skip through winter button and then just end up in spring. And then these fields will all be lovely. They'll be full of nice growing fresh produce and it shall all be splendid. And then yes, we'll buy all the farm equipment and then they'll all just work nicely. It shall be wonderful indeed. So yes, we will get this sorted in due course. It's not going to take that long to get through to spring. So we'll see these growing nice fresh stuff in not too long. However, Let's start things with cheese, shall we? I do like a nice bit of cheese because for ages, for absolutely ages, I've been saying, oh, over here, here we go, we've got lots of cow's milk coming through. Let's get lots of these dairies set up over here and we shall produce lots of lovely cheese-based products. But it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. I've been distracted by many things. There's been factories over here and there's been big fields over here. So yeah, I've been a bit distracted. So let's get these in now, shall we? Let us get some more lovely, lovely cheese factory set up. In fact, they're not just cheese, are they? It's not just cheese factories. It should be, I should call them dairy factories because you know, there's butter just there. But we're going to make cheese. We're going to make butter. It's going to be lovely. So let's get some more of these in, shall we? Now, the only thing is, where are they going to go? Where is going to be the best place for these? Do we just carry them on along here? Or do we have a little sort of factory area set up along here? Also, this road here, could we take this road up and put one of the bigger roads going this way? Because that could be quite an important route through to say this bit of the farm over here. Do we want to get rid of this road? That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea if we could get rid. Yeah, because there's a big road there. That's a big sort of, a, well, a big road, a regular road, you know, with the two lanes. So, I mean, we could, hang on, how's that going to work with, with that? Oh, it's in a slightly weird, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, we can't have that road. It has to be either there or there. Well, that's a bit strange. I don't want it there or there. I want it in between those two locations. Hang on. What if we were to take that and that and that and that and that away? Does that change where we can put the two-way road? Uh, no, it doesn't. That That is a bit weird. That's a little bit strange. It has to be there or there, which is not convenient for us. Do you know what? Never mind. Never mind. We'll, we'll ignore that. There we go. Right. 500 money spent on replacing that road. There was a really bad pothole over there. Don't worry. It, we've sorted it out. You're welcome. Right. Okay. Forget that idea then. Forget all that. Let's get... I think what we'll do is... I think we'll just put the factories going along there. Because I think that's going to be easier for the goods to be moved about a little bit. And then we can have some other stuff set up behind here. In fact, could that road... Hang on. Here's the plan. Get that run that road all the way to, hang on, is that a straight, oh, okay, it's built now, hopefully it is a straight road, there we go, and then that could just run to there, there we go, lovely, so now there's a little kind of route around the back of the factories, so yeah, let's get however many more of these we can have, I think we've got enough money that we can pay for, for many of these factories, so let us go to production and get a milk processing plant i mean really come on it's a cheese factory um okay so we'll rotate that round let's put them all along this way so how many can we actually afford we can have another and uh, not afford how many can we fit we can afford many just two that's unfortunate yeah i thought we could maybe fit a third along there but no i don't think we can we've not got enough room okay never mind what we could do is we could set up our worker house over here for the workers who are going to work in these two factories. 
So is there any room in there? No, no room in that one. Okay, yeah, this will be fine. This will be absolutely fine. So what we need to do as well is, if we're now getting all that sorted, let's get the worker house in first. So yes, we will have a worker house uh, set up just there. Might as well put it just there. That'll do the job. Um, and then we need to go to here and we need to have a look at the auto selling options for the uh, for the cow's milk. So at the moment, we are selling when we get over 1,500 litres, I assume, of the cow's milk. How many do we have right now? 1,800. Okay, how about we get rid of this for now? We'll get rid of that and just see if that builds up to stupid levels. Or if by having these two extra factories, we actually go through all of the cow's milk and we need some more cows. Because that might actually happen. Right, move time on. Let's get these things put together. So the factories will take absolutely ages. The little house will appear. Just one person building that house. Many people building the lovely factories, of course. Come on, do the rooftop dance. Then we know it's almost finished. Yay, rooftop dance. Oh no, that wasn't the roof. Okay, very important. That bit there they're working on though was very important. Okay, so they'll be in sooner rather than later. Winter, winter is creeping up on us. And if we can get these set up before winter, that means that they're going to generate profit over winter, which is going to be very nice indeed. Right, there we go. So they've got the little thing above their head saying there are no workers. You might need to take down all the scaffolding first, but there we go. Inside that box, a factory has been magically created that weirdly enough looks exactly the same as all these ones. Okay, hang on. What's that complaining about? Assigned staff. Oh no, we're on it. We're on it, game. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So in here, we want to get lots of people that are good at manufacturing. Are there any people? There's four. Ah, okay, there's at least four. There's five. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, we'll have you, we'll have you, we'll have you, we'll have you, and we'll have you. Oh, that is excellent stuff. Okay, right, we'll train everybody up. So endurance and manufacturing. Yes, you can have full skills in those. You can have all the manufacturing. You can have all the manufacturing. You're quite good at machines. We don't need you to do anything with machines. Well, not like farm machines. I imagine there are a number of machines in that factory that require you to jab buttons and turn dials and twiddle knobs and things. But no, it's fine. You don't need to do anything with it, you know, in the terms of the skill. Then that means more sort of big farm machinery. And uh, Olivia Watson, manufacturing. There you go. You're all now very good at understanding how manufacturing works. So let us assign some people. So, ah, right, hang on. It's not all the people that are at the top. Hang on, go to the bottom. So, yes, you, and yes, you. So we'll have three working in that first one, uh, come out of there, and then we'll have two working in this one, just to balance that load out a little bit. So there we go. Right, so now the factories are, are you know, staffed a little bit. There's people working in them. Now we just need to figure out what we actually want to make. So what is actually generating the most money? So let's have a little look. So if we go to buy, unfortunately, I still think there needs to be a sort of a regular market button. Obviously, we're buying stuff and then there's buy and sell. But I mean, is it not just a how much is something worth button? Unless it's it's just the buying option. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But surely this is slightly inflated because we're trying to buy this. Is it not just a generic market sort of value for things? Um, OK, let's have a look then. So cheese. So that... I can't do the goat or the sheep cheese, unfortunately. So that one and that one. So they're the two cow cheeses. Um, is there anything else to, that comes from a cow? No, just those there. Well, apart from the milk, obviously. And then the butter is just there. So what makes the most? It seems to be the yellow cow cheese. That makes the most. And then we could have just regular cow cheese. Do you know what? We'll have that. That'll do. So let's have... The that's regular cow cheese. Yep, so I'll have that. And this one here change to the yellow cow cheese. And of course the organic stuff, the lovely bio-organic stuff. So yeah, per month that could make that could make 106,000 farm manager monies. And that one could make 80,000. Well, 80 and a half thousand. <laughs> yep, okay, fine. Bit of a no-brainer. We'll have those, please. Is there anything else that actually makes more? Uh, that's a, sort of all the bio sort of organic stuff. 80. That's 106. That's, what's that? The butter is 74. The goats is 62. So the goat cheese is actually not that good, really. That's not that much in demand. I think the sheep cheese is super profitable, isn't it? Yeah, 
173 grand for that. And we could, we could get a whole new setup for just loads of these factories and then just loads and loads of, loads of sheep farms just generating so much sheep milk and then we could just turn it all into sheep cheese and just make an awful lot of money. We could do that possibly at some point. Have I left massive gaps between the factories? I think I might have done. I think possibly we could have had another house, another factory along there. It seems to me there's a big gap going through there. Can we fit a road in there? Can we fit a road through there? Yes. Okay, right. Okay, right. Maybe, maybe we could have actually got another factory in here had I put them down correctly. I thought when we moved it over, it went red. And we could not put them quite as close as that. Oh, do you know what? That's fine. Whatever the case. It's not like we're running out of room on the farm, is it? There's there's quite a lot of space around on the farm, so it's fine. Oh, hello, wind turbines. I kind of forgot about those guys over there. Just merrily spinning away. I notice in the background there are some other wind turbines. They look a little bit kind of a little bit lonely compared to our amazing wind turbine array just here. Um and yeah, that's exciting though. That's exciting. There's stuff going on in the background. Like a power plant and stuff. But anyway, right, back to the cheese. So let's move time on. Is this all going to kick into life and start working? So there are the workers. They've gone into their respective factories. They're going to have to run out and grab some of the organic cow's milk. Now, how much of that is there right now? We should be able to see. 2,200 litres of the stuff. It seems like quite a lot. It seems like a lot. But is that going to be enough for everybody to have all the cow's milk they need to do the things they need to do in these factories. I think it looks like it might just about be okay. It might just about be okay. How long until winter? Nine days. And we are doing some training, so we're going to wait until that training's done, then start some other training, and then skip winter. But I think that'll be fine. We'll be able to, yeah, we'll muddle through. But um, yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. They've taken... They've Hang on. Hang on, what? Hang on. How much milk have they got in there? They've got 1,300 litres of organic cow's milk. They've got 2,309. They've got 2,000. They've got 1,700. And they've got 1,700. Well, how much is left? How much is left? Hang on. Sell. Is there any left? No, there is none left. Okay. That is interesting. I mean, do we need to get... Maybe we do need to get some more, some more cows onto the farm. If we are going to do that, though... We might as well do the research that gives us the big kind of uh, cow shed things. Because there is some research that we can do. So I don't know what the limit is. Yeah, we've got eight cows in there. So I imagine, I don't know, up to 12 or 16 cows. I'm just sort of guessing. But yeah, we'll be able to have more cows in the bigger cow sheds. And more cows is more milk. More milk is more milk for all the factories along here. And that's got to be a good thing. The only thing is, yeah, we won't be able to get that research done and the research that increases production from our factories, because, yeah, we've only got a chance to do one bit of research over winter. How is everything looking over here? They're still working on this field. I mean, I admire your dedication, but surely, surely in whatever it is, two days now, this field's going to be a little bit, it's going to be a little bit hard to work on. You're, what are you doing with this massive field? This is the sunflower field. You seem to be, you're spreading manure on the sunflower field. Ah, there you go. You might have realised that it's, you know, give up because it's a bad job, possibly. Because it's going to be winter soon. No, you've you've come back and they're carrying on. Okay, winter is here. This is the end of field work. Or not, as it would seem. Um. Okay, fine. I mean, the weather seems okay. The weather seems sort of bright and not snowy. So maybe until the actual weather turns bad, they're able to carry on working on the fields, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, yeah, they're still they're just carrying on. Okay, fine. Well, we'll let them just carry on until winter arrives properly, I guess. Oh, well, that did not take very long at all. There we go. I mean, it's snowing on Christmas Day, so that's quite nice. Yay, yay for a white Christmas. But yeah, that's um, that's going to stop them working on the fields. Is it going to stop them working on the fields? I don't know. I thought they wouldn't have been able to do anything on the fields, what with it being all kind of frosty and such. But, but no, they seem to finish the job anyway. Okay, and then you're going to go and park the tractor back down here, is it? Or is it inside? No, it's there. You drive through the manure spreader, but that's fine. That's okay. Well, there we go. Winter has indeed arrived. I've never really looked at our, our little house while it's been wintry. It looks very nice. It does look very lovely. But there we go. So we've had the first snowfall of this particular winter. Everything looks very, very pretty indeed. So now, yes, we need to move time on 
to get that research done. And then, yeah, we'll set the next research and then we shall just fly through winter. It'll go by in the blink of an eye as if it never happened. And then we can just carry on doing more stuff. Oh, actually, do you know what we do need? We need outside of these new factories and the new workhouse, we need some lovely decorative items. How about some, some flowers, some pink flowers? We'll put some pink flowers on those corners there. Pop one just there. And then outside the front of there, outside the front of the worker house, let's have, let's have that flowers box. That looks quite nice. It fits quite nicely under the window there. So there we go. Right, so they should walk along and feel a little bit happier because there's some nice decorative items for them to look at. Can we see that? Yeah, there you go. So their happiness is brought down by work productivity. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Is it where you're working? Or something I don't know but it's brought up again your mood by some lovely decoration so really you've got a plus five percent mood boost because of all the lovely flowery things we put around the place so there we go that's all very nice is everything all right on the other side of the road I think we did that didn't we yeah that's all all sorted and there we go the training is done right hang on hang on so let us go to let's press the right button get in the hang of it so what training can we do now this is what I was originally thinking of Workshop on production management too. Sounds very exciting. Lots of lovely PowerPoint slides with graphs. Increases the rate of production by 15%. So it, I don't think it means an extra 15% on what we've already got. I think we've already got a 10% boost. So it would just go up by another 5%. But of course that affects every single factory I believe that we have. So we get more, we get more cheese and we get more sunflower oil and we get more frozen fish. And of course that results directly into more goods that we can sell, which means more money. But we're okay for money. We're okay. I can't quite see what the money is, but it was in the, it was in the millions of farm manager monies, wasn't it? So we don't need to worry about that. Storage capacity up, not so bothered. That whole block there is finished. That block of training is finished. That bit of training is finished as well. This is great stuff. Um, that bit is almost finished, but we've got... Uh, yeah, one bit of research for increasing the speed of strength regeneration for seasonal workers. We don't have any of those yet, but lots of people in the comments have said they're, they are actually quite useful. So I think we will get some in, but we're not going to do that right now. So here we go. Let's have a look at these. So the third level of buildings for pigs. Okay, we've not got pigs. It's more about cows. Where is it? There. Oh, no, it's faster production of cows, sheep and goats to reproduction but we generally buy the maximum amount anyway because it's not that bad uh, there unlock the third level of cows building 40 grand oh we need to do that one at the top first oh botherations okay okay so we need that one first and then that one to unlock the third level of the cows building and then we'll be able to unlock the third level of the building for sheep and goats as well that could be quite good and then we could have a whole great big kind of dairy corner, if you like. We'll have dairy corner over in the farm where we've got loads of cows generating cow's milk, which we can turn into you know, yellow cheese and butter and all that kind of stuff. And then we can have a load of sheep that just make all the lovely sheep's milk to turn into sheep's cheese. And the thing is, that's going to take an awfully long time to get unlocked. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's do this. Let's do that. It's only four grand. It's four grand, four thousand money. So these other ones are quite expensive. But yeah, okay, fine. And then what we'll do is, now that we know that everything is looking okay on the farm, just a quick check. Is everything looking all right? We've not left anything, you know, nothing is glaringly unmanned or anything like that. All the factories have got people in. It's all wonderful. I think we can skip through the winter. I think we just skip through. 60 days left on that training so when we come back. That might possibly be done. I'm not entirely sure. So we've got just shy of 8 million farm manager monies. So if we skip through here, we're going to pay over winter uh, 424,000 money on, on wages. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of money. Um, animal food, we're going to spend 100 grand. Vet, 14 grand. Production costs. I'm a bit confused about that. A bit confused about what the production costs are. We're going to spend 1.8 million on production. I don't really know what that means. Why are we spending money on producing things? I don't know. Uh, building maintenance. Um, nothing on machines. No loans to pay. However, simply from animal products, we're going to make 2.9 million. Factories are going to make 3.4 million. And the, oh, look, the wind turbines. The wind turbines are generating 279 grand. That's quite good. So overall, we're going to make 4 million farm manager monies over the winter. That's going to end in 78 days. So yeah, that research will be done. 
Um, yeah, okay, do you know what? Skip the winter, it's all fine. Spring is here, hooray! And that training is done. Okay, so now what we can do is, uh, let's go back down to here then, and immediately start the unlocking of the third level of cows buildings. So industrial management training for cow farming. Yes, please. 40 grand, absolutely no problem at all. That's all fine. And here we are. We're back. It's spring. Hopefully the ground should... There we go, look. The frost is going away. What date does it come back? So I think... I think it does the... What they call the equinox kind of dates, this game, for sort of winter. I think it's the 21st of December. It turns to winter, doesn't it? That's the official sort of winter start date. And then it looks like the 21st of March is when spring rolls around. So there we go. That's quite nice. But splendid, I think. Or did it come back in the 23rd? I'm not really sure, but whatever. I think it's based around the equinox sort of dates. Now, here is a bit of a problem. Because everybody is now leaping into all the field work. And um, yeah, there's not enough... There's not enough tractors and farm machinery to go around. So they need orchard planters over there. So these fields here, because these are two big orchards. We've got apples and pears and all that kind of stuff. So they need the orchard planters. But then what's the problem here? An orchard tractor. Have we got room anywhere for another orchard tractor? I don't think we have. Oh, there. Or is that empty just because they've taken things out and driven them around elsewhere? I'm not sure. Um, hang on. Uh, yeah, that should have an orchard tractor in it. But they're very little, I think. I think the orchard tractors only take up one space. Could we get another orchard tractor into there? That would be quite good. Um, yeah, garage number three. Okay, hang on. So tractor, orchard tractor, uh, buy a new one. 28 grand. That's absolutely fine. Um, garage three. Can it go into there? Yes, it can. That is perfect. Okay, so a second orchard tractor goes down. That's very good. The only thing is, do we want to get do we want to get another garage set up here? And just put a number of orchard tractors into there. At least one more, possibly. And then some other orchard-based things. An orchard sprayer, possibly. Just to get everything ready for these big orchards. Because they're going to be huge. Do you know what? Let's do that. Let's go to uh, garages. That's the one. Put an actual garage in. Or do we need a garage? I've got a mechanic. Where's the mechanic? There's the mechanic. The mechanic will actually look after all that stuff. So why don't we just get ourselves one of the big... We'll get a big outside bit. Hang on a second. So a big parking lot type thing. Pop that just there. That goes in automatically, I think. Oh, it needs power. Of course it does. I think, I was going to say, it should have power. Because there should be plenty of power around this part of the world. Um, oh, let's look at what the... Um, Let's look at what the good things are to sell. So just apples. Apples and cow's milk. Now, unfortunately, yeah, we don't have apples and cow's milk. We have organic apples and organic cow's milk. And I don't think these little market price things here take into account organic products. Unless it just means cow's milk either type, regular or organic, I don't know. Okay, never mind. Right, over here, what's this? Parking seven. So let's buy another orchard tractor put that into parking seven please so rotate that around so it's facing the right way and then can we have um an orchard can we just type the word orchard so an orchard planter and an orchard sprayer let's get all of these things in so we'll have ourselves an orchard sprayer let's get another one of those into parking seven um that can go i don't know across the back that'll do and then can we get an orchard planter. Can we buy two of these? They're eight hundred and nine dollars, <laughs> or whatever they are, farm manager monies. That's that's ridiculously cheap compared to some of the other farm equipment. Okay, yeah, I think we can have multiple of those. I bet they're tiny as well. Yeah, there we go. So I have one there, and then do we just want to replicate that? So just have another tractor, another sprayer, and another planter. I don't think we need that many planters actually. Do it. I think that should be all right for now. That should be okay. So yeah, that field is going to be lacking probably a tractor or something. Not enough staff. Okay. Not enough staff to sort of work that bit there. And then, yes, this bit here also needs to be looked at as well. Right. What do we want to work on first? I think this bit over here is looking more... This bit over here is looking more in demand. There's an awful lot of spinny icons above these things saying, yeah, problems, please deal with this. So, um, right, what we could do is... 
we could do is to help out all the people over here that are working in the greenhouses and such, we could get in our first seasonal worker house. Now, I've not put one of these in yet, because I think, if I recall correctly, in Farm Manager 2018, I think you had to go and hire the seasonal workers and sort of fiddle about, and it was a bit, it was a bit tedious. But lots of people in the comments have said, no, it's fine, you just sort of have default settings and the game kind of hires people for you and it's all brilliant so how about we go down that route let's just have a couple of houses along here possibly can we have what if we put a little road in the middle i mean this tree would have to be sacrificed sorry tree but um yeah if we said uh hang on how wide are they again are they just too wide yeah so we could have one there and then we could have a road just sort of going up like that That'd be okay. Do you know what? We could, we could, just to make life a bit easier for people, just cut that through there. Little bit of a path. There we go. So we'll say there's a seasonal worker house. And then when you finish doing the roof dance, we will see exactly how this works. Okay, so what have we got here? Oh my goodness me. There are many complicated things. Um, settings for seasonal workers. So they start on the 1st of the 3rd. And they end on the 6th, the 12th. Okay, so they start in March. They end um, close to the start of December. Okay, so I imagine we can fiddle about with the dates and such. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll put that back onto where it was. So it was about there, the 7th then. So they start in March, end in December. So yeah, higher for 281 days. Oh, and then you just say 12 people. And if we pay them, uh, I don't know, 1,035 monthly um what's that what what the, do you know what i've not actually looked what are the two things what are the two things is that like a bonus or something is that overtime possibly that's their flat rate and that's their overtime i don't really know but there we go chance to hire 53 percent as the more money you pay you're willing to pay the more chance you have of actually filling these roles yeah okay that seems to make sense yeah we'll have a bit of that then and then i imagine the workers just pop into here do, they, do we need to say yes or activate or switch it on or something um i'm not really sure yeah can we have can we have 12 people working in here i don't know how that works how long does it take for that to happen not entirely sure um we'll get another one of those in how about we get another one of those in does it reach the orchards yes it does because they're green yeah okay ah i think nope nope still nobody working there uh are we do we need to press a button to make this go do we need to say yes because we should have people working here by now we should have people here okay do you know what we'll get another one of those in and we'll just hope that it all works we'll hope that it works and we'll hope that it's fine pop another one of those just there 28 grand to get these in which is fine we've got 12.2 million right now so yeah i think we can afford that and then we'll have the same again so we'll push that up a bit and whatever that is, we'll just make that a bit higher. What was it at the other place? 176. You know, we'll we'll be fair to each of these. Ah, there you go. That house, Layla Lawrence has come in. And she is working in that particular seasonal employee house. So that house must be better than this one. Because nobody wants to come and work in this house. That house has now got three people in it. And that one's got nobody working in it. Yeah, that one's been there for ages. And that one's brand new. Okay, fine game. It's okay. You do what you need to do. It's all good. There we go. Right. Ah, the trees are going in. The apple trees are going in. This is very good. They need to do some spraying and such like on it. But there we go. That's done. Oh, and that one is being, that's being sprayed. That's being sprayed with one of the treatments. I don't know which one it is. Okay. The two big orchards are in. This is wonderful. Right. What we need to do is now, we need to do a little bit of work over here to make these fields actually do something because at the moment they're not really doing anything at all. So how about we set up some basic storage things over here first, and we need some people to actually operate the machinery. That would also be very, very handy. So how about we get that done now? In fact, do you know what? No, not that. Not that right now. I just realized that we didn't get the maximum amount of people into these factories, did we? We've got three in there and two in there. Hang on a second, game. Hang on, pause time. Um. Have we got people that are good at production, at manufacturing? Only two. That's not ideal, is it? Okay, you two can come in. So, yeah, become good at making stuff. And you become good at making stuff. 
So we'll maximize that one because it seems to make more money anyway. So yes and yes. Okay, now we just need one more person. One more person that is good at pro uh, you know, production stuff. And then that's that factory sorted. And then we can go and sort out the new big field area. But uh, yeah, I'd like to get this done first. Just because otherwise I'll forget like I did before. And it'll just it'll happen again. And then at some point we'll look at this and go, Oh yeah, there's only three people working here. And there could be four. So come on, here we go. Oh, that looked like it refreshed. That looked like it refreshed. Manufacturing, manufacturing. There, just manufacturing. Caleb Slater. In you come, Caleb. There you go. Right, Caleb Slater. Boost your skills. There you go. Knowledge input. And pop you into there. And splendid. There we go. Right, so that house is full. And these factories are now working at maximum sort of operation because I've got four people in. And the four people are very, very good at their jobs. Okay. What's that going on about? No warehouse. You don't have the right warehouse or site for resources nearby. Organic carrot seeds. Do we not? Oh, down here. Ah, no, right. We're going to sort this out. We're going to sort this stuff out over here. So, yeah, we need some more storage over here. Because, yes, we've got places for vehicles. But we have no places for the food that's going to come from these fields. Or any kind of storage things for anything that's, you know, going to grow or whatever. So, what we need to do is we need to go to warehouses. And we need some of this stuff. We need a barn for hay and straw, and then we need warehouse, or possibly a couple of warehouses, for the actual you know, seeds and fruits and vegetables and things that are going to come out of the fields. So we'll have a barn. We'll put the barn... Um, yeah, we want it, do we want it to go down this end? Is that still going to be alright for that field? I think that should be okay. So if we put the barn at the end, like that, that's fine. And then we'll put a warehouse just there i think and then another warehouse please tell me that's going to fit and we can have a road going down the side i think we can another warehouse just there and i think that two-way road yes can continue down that way wonderful okay that's looking good and now we just need some actual people to you know drive all the machines and we need the machines the machines would also help so let's get the first worker house set up let's put them just there in fact what range do they have they're okay. If we move them to the middle, it might be a little bit better. Okay, hang on. They're being blocked by the. They're being blocked by the the lovely bit of decorative sort of uh, furniture there. Um, do you know what? That's fine. You can go just there. It is all good. You can look out your window and walk past a nice flower arrangement. That's going to be good. So we'll have those there. So they need to get that built. It'll be powered up. It'll all be lovely. But then, yeah, in here, we're going to need people that are good at machines. Because, of course, there's going to be a lot of machines sort of working around here. But then, do we need people involved with plants as well? Hang on. Hang on. Are these fields all just set to use machines? I think they are. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, are they going to need plants and such like as well? Why are you complaining about power? There should be loads of power. You're next to a power line. Are you not? Uh, okay. Why are they not powered down here? That's a little bit odd. Um, no, there's no... Ah, right. There's no transformer thing down here. Okay, fine. Let's pop in a robot in disguise. Right, where where do you want to go, robot in disguise? How about there? And we'll just connect you up like that. Little bit of a wobbly kind of power grid going on. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, and then in here, let's hire some people. So, people that are good at machines. Rosie Andrews. In you come. Oh, Erin Riley is good at machines and plants. Yeah, we'll have you. You can come in. And you, and you, and you. And then, I think, do we want people that are good at... No, that's not plants. That's orchards. Just people that are good at plants. Like, does that mean they're good at plants if they're on the back of a machine where they have to harvest the vegetables or whatever? Is is that helpful? Or is this just entirely, entirely machine people over here? I'm not entirely sure. Let's get you in. You can be good at plants. There you go. Right, and then plants and manufacturing. We'll get another... How many have we got? One, two, three, four... We've got five. So let's get another plant person in. And then we'll get another couple of machine people in as well. Right, so scale all these people up. Oh, you're already super skilled as it is. Right, so there you go. You're very good at doing machines. Uh, yeah, you can use machinery appropriately to minimise the destruction level of the used machine. Which is very dramatic sounding. Uh, and you... Okay, the skill to care for plants affects the size of the harvest. But you're not necessarily caring for the plants as such. 
You're not caring for them. I don't really know. Right, hang on. So you don't do manual work. Just use machines. Uh, you can do both because you're very good at both of those things. Um, you don't do manual work. Not that I think we're going to be doing manual work anyway. You don't do manual work. You don't use the machines. Although I don't really think it makes that much difference. We're going to have lots of people driving machines around here anyway. And then you don't use the machines. Yeah, I think we need more plant people over here. We need more plant people. I wonder if we can just wait until that refreshes and we get some more people that are good at plants. Hooray! Grace Shaw. Plants and beekeeping. A wonderful skill set, Grace. Um, yeah, that and that. Two more people good at plants. You can then be skilled up. And don't use the machines, please, because we have people that can do that for you. And then Grace Shaw. Um, okay. You, you, we could level you up in beekeeping, but that would be pointless. But you're very good at plants. Um, don't use the machines. Okay. Now we need to try and figure out what we want to grow in these fields. We've got organic carrots over here. And yeah, we need quite a lot of those because they're used over in our carrot juice factory type place over there. So that's quite nice. So the carrot juice fa, sorry. Um, so yeah, we're kind of, I think we're buying them in again now by the look of it. We've kind of burnt through our supply and we've got an auto buy thing to buy more in. So if we could just generate a massive load of those from this field here, that would be good. But then what else do we want to make? I mean, do we want to supply factories with things? Or do we just want to make a great big load of stuff in these fields and then just and then just sell it? Do just want to grow loads of raspberries or whatever? I'm not entirely sure. What factories could we have if we were to have some factories? Um, so, silage, no. Seedlings, I don't think you're going to make much money from that, to be honest. A mill. Okay, so a mill turns grain into flour. Okay, so is flour a profitable thing or not? We'll obviously have organic flowers. Um, that would make... No, not that much. Not that much. Although it would be nice to sell... It would be nice to sell flour. Maybe over here we could have sort of flower fields. And over this side we'll have kind of fruit... Well, veg. It's going to be vegetables over here, isn't it? Okay, so maybe not that then. So that's the slaughterhouse. Not much use on the fields. Unless, unless we're going to get the birds. And there's plenty of birds around the place. There's a bird. Hello, bird. Stop eating all of our seeds. Go away. Um, a fruit processing plant. So yeah, we've got the... Hang on. We've got the vegetable processing plant. But there is a fruit processing plant, which I don't remember seeing before. Is that new? Is that, has that always been there? That might have always been there. I've just completely forgotten that that was a thing. But yeah, that... Um, what does that do? Yeah, that generates nice... So what's it like? Jams and things like that. So a vegetable processing plant. That could make us... We've obviously got one of those anyway, making carrot juice. But it looks like it can make tomato juice, which is fine. And then I assume that's pickles. I think on the right there, that's pickles. It's a shame you can't go over and sort of click on things to see what they are. But I assume that's a jar of pickles. That could be quite nice. Mr. Prepper would approve wholeheartedly. And then underneath that, the kind of the white bag. I don't know what that is. Peas, possibly? Like a bag of frozen peas. And then underneath that, I do not know what that is at all. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, let's go and have a look, shall we, at vegetables. What money can we make from vegetables? Let's have a quick look through it and just see if we can identify what those things were. Okay, I think this is what the vegetable processing factory can actually make. I think that packet thing that I thought was peas is actually organic sauerkraut, which is interesting. Then we have organic soya cutlets, which is certainly interesting. I can't say I've heard of these before, but okie doke. And then, of course, organic tomato juice and then organic pickles. I do like the idea of the organic pickles. However, they seem to make the least amount of money. The most profitable thing is the soya cutlets, but not by that much. Not by that much at all. So I wonder, I wonder what we can do with this. So if we say, okay, we're going to grow a load of soya in those fields, then that just gets turned directly into soya cutlets, I assume. The factory can just do what they need to do to turn it into soya cutlets. Or do we just go for good old-fashioned classic tomato juice? So we make carrot juice and we make tomato juice. Because that would be nice and simple. That would be nice and straightforward. Um, what's the yield from these? Hang on. So, soya and tomato. I think we'll discount sauerkraut and pickles because they don't seem to make the most amount of money. Well, the sauerkraut makes more than the tomato juice. But I like the idea of selling a range of juices. That sounds quite nice. Okay, tomatoes and soya. So, let's go to here. 
let's have a little look. So bio stuff. So bio tomatoes. Where would they be? Probably under probably under T. So that would make a yield of forty one thousand one hundred and sixty whatever it is kilograms of it, I guess. Whereas the soya seeds, is that what we'd want? Soya would make soya, yeah, actual grain or whatever. Um, that would make a yield of 50,000? Really? Really, really? The tomatoes we could sell for 337 grand. The soya we could sell for 200 grand. But yeah, we can probably use that to turn it into soya cutlets or whatever they were. Do you know what? Let's go for a bit of that, shall we? Let's have a bit of that over there. Let's actually sort that out for this field. So yes, you can be um, soya. Oh, the fields at the back were going to be for... They were going to be for the grain stuff, weren't they? Or a soya... I don't know what soya is. Is it a bean? I think it might be a bean, actually. Soya beans. Um, yeah, okay, do you know what? We'll have soya. There you go. It's a... I, I need to go and Google it. What is soya exactly? There you go. It's a legume. So it's a kind of bean type thing. Okay, yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yes, yeah, so we'll have that over there. Because, yeah, I kind of want, if we're going to do this properly, I kind of think that we should have all the different grains over here. So we could have wheat and such like over there and barley and what have you over this way. And then over here we'll have more sort of, you know, like, yeah, fruit and pulses and things like that. So we've got carrots there. And then we've got the soya just there. And then we have these two smaller fields at the back. What do we want to do with these? What are we not growing that could be an awful lot of fun to grow? What are we not growing? In fact... Is it worth using these fields to supply our own farm? That could be quite good. Or even just one of them. Just grow one of the food things that some of our animals eat, like the cows. If we're going to increase the amount of cows we have, maybe we could grow the lovely fodder beets. We could actually grow some of those. That is probably worth doing, actually. Hang on. Hang on. How many fodder beets? Um, so scrolly, scrolly, scroll. Um... Oh, hang on. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna type fod. There we go. <laughs> that works. We would get three. No, thirty-three thousand two hundred forty-six kilograms of those from that field. That seems like quite a lot. That might tide us over in fodder beets for quite some time, and then we could sell the excess, I suppose. So how about we have that? So that'll be for looking after our own farm, which is quite good. And then what else might be quite good? What have we got? grass and oat they can go in the other fields that we've not quite got sorted yet so okay so not those what else do we have we've got a lot of um a lot of chickens uh sunflowers yes we're growing soya we're actually ah we're growing that we've just said that we can grow some of that that'll be quite nice um corn fields of corn that would be all right yeah do you know what let's have a field of corn why not that'll look all sorts of pretty so we'll go to there and we shall have Lovely organic corn. There we go. Corn seeds. Yeah, nice. What's the difference with that? That turns the corn into crops. Oh, no, we don't want that. There you go. Yeah, corn, please. And now we need some vehicles. So let's remember what these are. Garage 5 and Garage 4. Okay, so Garage 4. Can we buy a combine harvester to go in here, please? And we've got... I mean, I don't know what some of these are. A self-propelled forage harvester. It's used for cutting certain crops to make chaff also requires a tractor with a trailer. I, I, do we need one of those? I mean, they look adorable. They look very lovely, but I don't know if we need one of those. Um, the Xeno Warrior Combines, we could get one of those, but we might as well get a Rodon or a Rodon Combine. They are a bit more expensive, but they're a bit more powerful, I think, and they can use more things. They can use more attachments. So they're more likely to be able to deal with all of these fields and all the fields over that way. So how about... We get one of those in. So yes, please, we'll buy one of those. That can go into Garage 5. And I think it will fully occupy Garage 5. Um, yes, there we go. And do you know what? Garage 4 might have to have one of those in as well. If we've got fields over there and these fields here, we might possibly need another one of those. Maybe we'll buy one of those when it comes to it. Okay, so Parking 4. What do you want to get over in Parking 4? So, uh, right, let's get some Etos tractors. Let's get maybe three of these in, possibly. So parking four. So yes, please. Can we can we shift click to multi buy those? No, unfortunately not. Okay, Etos tractor. Buy a new one. Parking four. Rotate it round. There we go. And we'll get a third one. We will get a third one of those. So here we go. This is all looking very good. This is looking good. Right. So pop that in. 
There we go. Three lovely shiny blue tractors. Wonderful. And then we just need all the other bits and bobs. So we need sprayers and precision seeders and manure spreaders and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, this could this could take a little while. Um, I mean, yeah, we're going to need the bigger the, the bigger cultivators. I uh, know. Oh hang on. That's a big plow. Rather than the little plow, we could have the big plow. So let's have... Let's maybe get three of those as well. Yeah, it is a shame you can't multi-buy all this stuff. It would make life a lot easier if you could just multi-buy all this. Right, so we'll have three of those as well. There we go. So we've got three tractors and then three plows. I mean, really, the plow bit should have been at the back and the tractor should have been at the front. But never mind. I'm sure they'll work out the parking arrangements. It looks a little bit strange. Right, so we've got all those in. So then we're going to need other bits and bobs. So we're probably going to need ourselves... Um, yeah, we're going to need loads of the attachments for the combines, but right now we're going to need other things. So, for example, a trailer with water. That's probably going to be quite handy. So, how about we put those into, yeah, parking six will do the job. We might need another one of those, possibly. And we've got room for more of these things, for more of the sort of uh, garages and stuff. So, that's fine. So, another trailer with water. So, pop that into, yeah, pop that one into there. So, now I've got two water trailer things. Right, what else are we going to need? Remind me, remind me, game. Uh, cultivators. Okay, fine. So we can buy ourselves some of these cultivators. We should do that. Um, yeah, these are better, aren't they? They're, they're bigger. So they make the job quicker. Yeah, we'll have some of those. Oh, yeah, they're huge. I forgot about these. That's probably going to take... A, yeah, that's half of one of the garages. One well, of the garages, the flat concrete parking lot things, all on its own. Okay. That's quite big. That's quite big. We might need another... We might need another thingamabob setting up over here. If we can fit one of those in. Oh no, I don't know if we can fit one in over there now. Can we pick up this house and move it, please? Um, okay, for now, we'll just have one of those. One of those will have to suffice. It will have to do the job. Uh, right, manure spreader. We're going to need a couple of manure spreaders, I imagine. Because, you know, we need to make sure the ground is fertile and what have you. So, okay, so manure spreaders... Grab a couple of these. There we go. So a couple of those to spread the poop around the place. Very lovely. And then, yes, we need a precision cedar, a sprayer, and a chest trailer. At least those minimum things there. Okay, so a precision cedar. That should be okay. So we just type seed. Right, precision cedar. Buy one of those. Put it into parking number five, please. Oh, and it's tiny. It's a tiny little thing. Okay, that's good. Um, can we get another one of those, actually? Might as well get another one of those and just pop it at the back oh that's very odd um yeah it should i kind of think if you press buy on one of the parking lots it should focus on that one first as where you want to put the thing you just bought but okay fine right and then um what was what was the rest of the stuff hang on a minute there was a trailer or something wasn't there there was a chest trailer and a sprayer okay right we'll get those in there we go so one chest trailer and two sprayers because we're flashing the cash being all fancy with our monies so that field now is okay the cornfield is all sorted I mean, it might be different when we come to actually harvest it, but at the moment, they can actually get the things in. Right, that needs a reaper. That needs a reaper for cereals, but that's at the very end. That's at the very end of the process. However, we do have a spare... We do have a spare garage. We have an empty garage just there. Can we fit in, then, another one of the parking things? No, we cannot, unfortunately. That is... That's a bit of a bother, isn't it? That's a bit of a bother. Um... Could we fit one in just there? No. Can we fit a garage in? I think the garages are equally wide, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think that's going to fit in. We'll we'll try it. No, 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 no. I mean, if that house had been moved over, if we'd have moved this thing and then had it all moved over by one, that would have been brilliant. But alas, I don't think we can pick up the house and move it. We'd have to fire all of our people and that would be silly. Okay, never mind, never mind. Right, so at least these fields can have something done to them. We should see lots of people running out and grabbing the tractors. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is brilliant. That is very exciting. Look, we've got three tractors all in use right now as they go along and do lots of plowing. The little, there's a red tractor coming this way. There's a red tractor coming through. Okay, what we could do is, what we could do, we could back things on to here. We could have ourselves, if we find out, hang on, hang on. What if we get another garage, rotate that round, Put that to the back of here, say. So put that, uh, I don't know, there maybe. Is that too close? Can we have that there? I think we could probably have that just there. Or do we want the bigger spaces? Do we want the bigger... Hang on, yeah, let's do that, shall we? So have another one of those. 
Right, rotate it round. Put one of those there. It's going to have no power. We'll sort that out. And then have just a road coming through like that. Another road coming through all the way to there. Is that road all straight? Yep, lovely. And then, yeah, we could just have a road cutting through there. Just coming through by the worker house. So they can come back here and get more farm equipment. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. But look at this. Oh my goodness me. There's, there's so much farming happening. Look at that. There, there is much farming. There's, what, that's four fields being worked on with tractors. That's a fifth. That's a sixth up there with an orchard tractor. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. There's another tractor there driving around. Ah, uh, we have arrived. This, this feels better now. It feels better now. It feels like we're doing proper farming. We've got all the animals over here. Loads of animals. We did have some orchards, but we had limited fields. But now, look, we've got lots of tractors driving around, doing lots of field work. It's all very wonderful indeed. What's going on over here? That's being, oh, it's being sprayed for one of the things. Whatever it's being sprayed for, I do not know. We shall find out momentarily when they're finished doing their last drive down here. It was for bugs, I think. So an anti-insect spray. And yep, they're going back onto that one to spray that with one of the things. These are all being sorted out. What's going on with that one? That is, oh, that's being seeded. So that is for the organic carrots. That is very good indeed. This is going to be 98 days until we can grow a load of sunflowers. That is organic carrots already growing, which is brilliant. That's sunflowers as well. Oh, this is, I, I like this. This is wonderful stuff. And then, of course, we've got the fields over this side as well. But we're going to have lots of grain and things like that. We're going to have wheat and such like growing, which is also going to be very nice. Because, yeah, we do have quite a lot of um, quite a lot of animals that eat things like oats and what have you. So, yeah, we've got oats. Uh, yeah, wheat, grass, oats. We've got peas over there. But, yeah, we could have grass and wheat. Certainly. Grass and wheat and oats. We could We could zone out those fields. I mean, I know they're busy right now. But we could at least get them zoned out. Let's have that one there and that one there. This is the good thing about having all this money as well. You can do this with you know, relative freedom because it doesn't really matter. We've got 12 million of your monies. We can just zone these things out how we like. It's brilliant. Right, and then get a road. Bring Oh, it's a big road. Hang on. Hang on. Big road. Big two-way road. Bring that all the way to there. And there we go. Wonderful. Oh, there's a funny whatever that is. What's that in the middle of the road? I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's some sort of trap door. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, and in these, what do we want to have in these? So we saw, hang on, bias. We want wheat, I think. So we'll have wheat, because that was one of the things we saw. And then were there oats, possibly? Were there oats? What do the fish eat as well? Rye. Yeah, we're growing corn. We're growing soya. So rye and that sorghum stuff. Um, so we could grow some rye. I mean, grass. We could just have grass. Just a lovely field of grass would be quite nice. Yeah, we've got wheat already in. So it's already growing. So yeah, okay. Have I just a grass field? It's not very exciting, but it will probably do the job. So that one's done. Um, how much grass do we need? I don't really know. Biograss. Okay, let's have that. So grass seeds. That's quite nice. Do we need that one as grass as well? Or do we want something slightly more interesting in that field? Let's have something a bit more interesting. Grass is lovely, but yeah, there's loads of grass here, I imagine. Um, what else could we have? Um, oh no, the cows. The cows eat grass and oats. Okay, do you know what? Let's go to here. We will grow some oats. So oat, yeah, oats please. And that one, again, can be grass. Not overly exciting, but useful and functional for us on our farm. There we go. Wonderful stuff. And yeah, they're just driving all the things around. What's that complaining about? No warehouse for manure. Ah, oh, right. Yes, we need somewhere where they can go and get the manure. Hang on a second. Um, Where is that? Where was the manure storage? It's not in animals. It's a, a warehouse. Of course it is. Manure storage. Right. Hang on a second. Completely forgot about that. Yep. Sorry. Put that there. It's very cheap. It is as cheap as chips. But there we go. Right. Get that sorted. And I think because of the weird way that the storage works. Yeah, there you go. There is 8,200 units of manure in there just waiting for you to go and pick it up. In fact, now there's a lot more. There's loads more in it now because, yeah, they're all shared, which is a little bit odd. But, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Uh, where are you going? Are you going to go and work on one of these fields over here? This is this is very good. Um, a seed drill. We need a seed drill. Um, 
yeah, okay, fine, we can buy all this wonderful equipment. It doesn't really matter about the cost. Uh, yeah, seed drill, have one of those. Put that into, is parking eight our new one? Yeah, pop that into there for now. There we go. So, right, it's right, it's looking wonderful. Oh, hang on, there's stuff in this field. <gasps> They've already planted the stuff. Oh yeah, that's the carrot field. Yeah, that's kind of been outlined a little while, actually. Yes, yeah, when we get one of these in, it's going to be exciting. And we have ourselves a field of fodder beets. It's all very exciting indeed. The weather is helping out as well with a little bit of the whole watering thing, which is quite useful. And I think, yeah, they're doing the spraying kind of now, which is absolutely fine. So there we go. So yeah, that field is going to be sprayed momentarily. And I think they've done this field as well. Yes, we've got corn. So we've got corn seeds over there. I don't imagine we can see too much of those right now. But there we go. So we've got a nice field of corn over there, which is lovely. And over here, what's going on here? We're waiting for the, ah, yeah, so the um, the soya beans are being, uh, bean seeds, you know what I mean, are being delivered. Okay, that's fine. So that will be done in due course. We're waiting for people, are we? Not enough staff. Really? We have got quite a lot of people. I guess we have said, do these fields over here as well. Yeah, they're all busy over here. Do you know what? Let's get this bit of training done, shall we? There's a couple of days left until we can have the great big cow shed things. Okay, the research is done, so let us go and have a look at what we're going to research now. So, I think, I think, yes, it was down here, wasn't it? So, we've got ourselves, yeah, that's for the fruit growing. So, that increases the harvest of all the orchards by 10%, which is no bad thing. That is pretty good. Have we got anything for just, you know, regular fields of vegetables and crops and grain and such like? Um, I don't think... It doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, there. Look. Oh, it's the top one. It is the one that takes the entire year of effort. Yeah, increases the quality and quantity of the harvest by 10%. Okay, right. So we don't need to worry about that too much. Okay, so now what do we want to go for? Do we want to unlock the third level of buildings for sheep and goats? That means we can have many, many sheep pens or whatever they are. And then we can have an awful lot of sheep milk and generate a lot of sheep cheese, which means even more money for us. Or do we want to go down one of these? Increase the honey harvest, increase the fruit harvest by 10%. That could be quite interesting. Get 10% more fruit from all of our orchards. That could be worth doing, but but do we want to go and do this? Do we want to get the third level of the building for sheep? I mean, and goats as well. I'm not, I'm not excluding the goats entirely, but the sheep are more interesting in this game because they let you do more stuff. Um, let's have that. Let's spend 60 grand and get access to large buildings for sheep to go and live in. There we go. Wonderful. So that is now underway. And very quickly, we should now be able to see the big... Where is it? That's a small shed. That's a medium shed. Large cow shed. Okay. So 18,200, 251 per month to just maintain. That looks absolutely fine. We don't know how many things they can hold. Not entirely sure how many cows they can hold. I mean, if those ones there, hang on a minute, if those ones there can hold 12, no, they can hold eight, can't they? I would say 12. I would say we could probably have 12 cows. Okay, there we go. I mean, that's something we can look at next time out, because I think what we'll do is we will finish up for now, but things are looking, things are looking glorious, particularly over here. I do like this bit. This is, it feels like proper farming now. We've got a proper farm. We've now sort of, you know, got proper fields in and such like. And yes, okay, we had all this stuff in before. We had lovely fields. We had orchards and we had some fields over here. And we've got many, many animals and we're producing lots of wonderful things. We're producing frozen fish and sunflower oil and loads of cheese and stuff. But this just feels proper. It feels like we are on a proper farm, tractors driving around the place and loads of fields and nice crops growing and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, it's looking very, very good. So when we come back next time, we will have a little look at what we can do with more sort of uh, more dairy stuff over here. So we'll get in some more of these sort of uh, bigger cow uh, sort of uh, cow shed things. Then get some more factories in to make more lovely dairy products. And then, yeah, we'll just expand our fields even more. We just have even more fields. We might need a load more farm equipment. We might need a lot more workers. We've got almost 14 million farm manager monies. I do not think that's going to be a problem. So yes, we shall do all that kind of stuff next time out because we'll wrap things up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Farm Manager 2021. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's a, that, this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please?
This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. What Who's examining who? 